So that gig got interesting. So I literally played the show completely blind. My professionalism was truly being tested tonight. One of the most frustrating gigs I've ever had probably in my life. So I'm gonna roll you guys some footage from the gig. Uh, hope you like it. All right, so our first cover gig of 2021. This is with a band called Over the Top. A little known fact about the Jessica Lynn band, most of the members of this are also in the Jessica Lynn band. We have me on guitar, Jessica is in the band. She plays guitar, sings, and plays a lot of keyboards. Her mom also sings lead and plays keyboards. Her dad's on bass, and our, our longtime buddy Carl's on drums. He's a fantastic drummer. And when we're not touring with Jessica Lynn, we love to keep this band alive. This band's been around for way longer than Jessica Lynn's been around. When Jessica Lynn really took off, this band kind of got pushed to the side, but we love to keep it around for when we're not touring to keep all of our chops sharp. So this band covers a bunch of different material full gamut of the musical spectrum you know we got a little bit of everything funk r&b classic rock oldies a little bit of you know a little something for everybody and uh it's really fun it's really good for my musical mind to uh keep me on a different track and keep me on my toes the whole time um it's a lot of fun to play a lot of fun usually the crowds are always dancing and stuff and i've got the full pa in my car it's also going to be the debut of my 72 es 345 i'm really excited about that as well yeah we're going to see how rusty we are we haven't played since july so it should be fun and uh take you guys along for the ride Right, let's go set up. Watch what are you doing? Get used to this. This is life on the road, baby. This is just New York. This is Washington Irving Gold Club. So we're rocking two PAs. These are the RCF Evox units. Um, we've been using these for a long time, both with Jessica and this band, and the best PA ever. I am rocking my Helix. See you around, Steve. We'll be around. Got Pete's bass, a little old Glory Hoffner. That was a special edition that they didn't make a lot of. And
So that gig got interesting. Things got a little out of hand with the bar crowd. I always thrive on this type of stuff. I think it's a lot of fun when people get, you know, a little silly and out of hand. <laughs> I wound up having people up on stage with us, dancing, going wild. One of the most frustrating gigs I've ever had, probably in my life, my professionalism was truly being tested tonight. When we were unloading our trailer to get all of our gear out, again, all my touring equipment and my gigging equipment's been locked away. My Line 6 power cab, which I would normally have for this gig, was kind of buried too far, and it was kind of just like, ah, screw it, we don't need it, I'll be fine. So I was just planning on going in-ears, nothing else, just like we've been rehearsing and stuff, and I've had no speaker on stage of figuring I would be fine. I had the most obnoxious, worst, in-ear, static, crackle, pop, every type of noise you can imagine, dropouts, sizzling, 
like such loud fireworks in my ear that I got to the point in the first set where I had to just take my ears completely out. So I literally played the show completely blind or deaf, if you will, um, only hearing what was coming out of front of house from behind the PA. I'm not looking forward to listening back to the tape. I think I still managed to do okay. I just hope that I had the right sounds on, that I was in tune, and that was my main concerns about not hearing myself very well. Overall, it seemed like a great show. People had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I got to play music. I got to play live. So for me, that was most important, and I wasn't going to let you know some tech difficulties get to me and uh, screw up my playing, even though I was completely playing by the Braille method, as uh, our pedal steel player Bob would say. And if you're hanging out this long, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Let me know in the comments what other stuff you guys want to see in these gig vlogs, anything else you want to be um, a part of when we're setting up, breaking down, or you know anything you want to see, you let me know and I'll put in the next one. Thanks guys. See you soon.